here what we have is Italian stallion <laughs> Michael Monkhouse, who is a comedian from the UK who immigrated to uh, Italy. He is multi he is fluent in loads of different languages, and he is what you can say about Michael Monkhouse. He is related to Bob Monkhouse, and you will never forget him. Congratulations for being the first person to point that out. Really, yeah. Do, do, do you know? Do you know the reality about Bob and me? Well, now we're starting. <laughs> tell oh, yeah. us. Tell us. Um, the reality um, is, it's really not very interesting. People always ask, "Are you related?" And the answer is um, no, and yes, and no, because it's an extremely distant um, kinship, and it's not blood. It's my stepfather. Family's always complicated, so it doesn't really count. Le legally, there's some kind of vague thing there, but it really doesn't mean anything, you know? Okay. I've had this since I was a kid when I was at school. Bob's your uncle, hey? Bob's your uncle. Have you met him? No, well, he's dead now. So my, my stepfather met him, actually. He did a show once um, for famous monk houses, and um, he said he was very good. He was very crude which you didn't kind of expect. There, there are kind of two sides to Bob Monkhouse, because I'm, I'm a big fan of Bob Monkhouse. You see, unfortunately, people only saw the slimy chat show host, Bob, but he was a very, very good stand-up comedian. I don't know if you saw um, the DVD, Live and Forbidden. No, I didn't. It's very good. It's about 1991, and it was a VHS in those days. That's how old I am. And it was a revelation because a lot of people who hated Bob Monkhouse saw it. And it's, 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 it's 60 minutes of um, quick fire, non-stop gags. It's almost tiring watching it. You're kind of like two gags behind all the time. And he was, he was a very good uh, stand-up comedian, very quick thinking, hmm. very fast, you know, and did the occasional game show, apparently. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, I, I hear. I think I remember I used to watch one of them, but I, I can't yeah, remember which one. <laughs> Oh, there were so many. Was it Golden Shot, uh, Bob's Full House, which was clever. Oh, no, there were hundreds on. But he, he used to like doing them. But he was a very talented guy. Very, very talented. He, he used to do this thing, um, Gag Association, which was great. You know, like word association, you go from one yeah. word to the other. He'd, he'd do Gag Association, where somebody said one word, someone else said another word. And he got from one to the other, but with jokes, not with ideas. You know, so it makes a joke about the first thing that involves something else, makes a joke about that. And you go from one to the other. And I've, I've got to be honest, not every single gag was stupendous, but I just think the ability to do that, you know, to have so much information in your head and to be able to do it in front of a studio audience with the cameras going, I think it's quite special. So I've got a yeah. soft spot for old Bob. But you never met him. No, it's too late now. Maybe in another life. Thank <laughs> you.